signature. You all do. <laughs> I got Jason Works lots good now. <laughs> All right, guys, here's what we're gonna do. <laughs> I'm gonna take you guys out here. I'm gonna have you grab this safe. And I'm gonna show you all how to pull it in. You're gonna pull it in for me. The camera's dirty. <laughs> Don't yeah. worry about that. We gotta we got pull away. Yeah, you gotta clean the camera off. <laughs> all right. You're making a video. We're making a video right now, boys. Hey, Wayne. How's it going, guys? Yeah, Look at you, Wayne. Wayne. Yeah, hey, 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 I got the rub to go with it. Oh, yeah. This is where the magic happens, boys. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to love me. <laughs> <laughs> I love that guy. For those of you that don't know who that is, that's Aaron Boom. Go and check him. Or my, my uh, Dirt Perfect calls him Aaron Bum. <laughs> Go check him out. He's a good man. Man behind the scenes, thank you so much. I'm going to get you to do my official outro someday. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Here we go. So we're going to pick off, pick up, pick up, excuse me. We're going to pick up here where we left off with the other bidget, uh starting this thing, which I didn't do a very good job at all explaining the way things are going on the last video. Okay, so I'm going to do a better job on this one. Okay, um, this carriage, it's got to raise up above the height of the, of the chain conveyor. The chain conveyor is going to be coming through like here, and this thing's got to raise up above it um like this yeah okay so that, so say the board's coming down the chain conveyor get where the light is and it'll raise up like this when i inflate these airbags and it'll catch the board and then it'll flip the board over and then retract back flip the board next board retract back and they can drop it out of the way that's all there is to it what i'm grinding on right now is i'm prepping a spot a pad for these rubber these airbags and there's gonna be an airbag on each side and i'm on the other side grinding over there right now so we're gonna be an airbag on this side and airbag on this side when you push the foot pedal when the operator's operating he pushes the foot pedal the first thing he's gonna do is air up the bags so it'll go whoosh, and pick up and then it'll catch a board and then he'll push the pedal the rest of the way down and, whoosh, whoosh, and it'll 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 flip the board so i cleaned it up Got it prepped, and I'm putting these blocks under because I'm holding it up with Whitey right now, and I want these blocks under because I'm going to have to get underneath that carriage and do some cutting on the main frame. <clears throat> and instead of getting under there on my head and trying to do my drill and stuff like that, I just drilled out some plates, and I'm going to cut a big hole out of the torch and then set that plate in there and then just put the bag on top of the plate and weld the weld the plate down and go in there and put the bag on top of the plate bolt it in all in it's all done that's the stuff i drilled there down a the drill press now you can see the bag sitting on there in a, on a on a vise and that bag's actually sitting on the plate that it's going to bolt down to now on the top i'm just going to put a ring around the carriage up there and that ring's going to be welded to the carriage and it's just going to keep the bag from going out of bounds See how I got that bag sitting on that plate? I probably already got it bolted to the plate. It's sitting on a welder there. And then I'm going to measure in here. I don't know what I'm measuring. Oh, I'm measuring how far over. I think I come in four inch center or something like that. I'll get back to y'all. I'm going to set them airbags in. I'm going to cut around the frame. 
get them airbags in there, get these plates on there below the airbag, get it welded to where it's right, then shimmy up my carriage and set it down into the airbags and then tack in my circle piece. And that'll hold my bag. I'll be back. Now that I got the bags in, now I'm moving my valve bank over and I have that, you see where my green magnet level sitting on top of that channel that I got center marked on? That's a mock-up of the lumber deck. So we'll be able to pull that right off. I'm just welding on top mostly and I'll be able to pull that whole valve bank and fixture off to take over there to the grading room when I move it over. And there I'm welding the muffler on there. Now them two square tubes you're seeing with all the holes in it, the top one's the exhaust manifold, the bottom one's the intake manifold. Then all them valves is doing different knickknacks to make them both run. And Roger's coming over to get me because I got to do some over in the mill now. And there the boys showed up. Okay, so the boys are helping me and Calvin is the what? What are you? The blue key. Okay. What are you doing, boy? Huh? Ain't you got a pair of pliers for that? Nonetheless, this guy, Divicatius, was there to remind the Romans that a terrible battle had occurred. He needs a knife, but I won't give it to him. This is fine. There must have been thousands upon thousands of these battles. No, let me pile calls the uh, Celtics, the Celtics. We're listening to Caesar's attack on the Celtics. History somewhere between tribal people. You don't know anything about them unless somehow they come to light. What, boy? What, what you saying, boy? What, what you saying, boy? Here, you put the glue for me. Let me put some glue on it. Jackson, you want to run the glue bottle? This ain't glue, this is actually thread sealant. There you go, boy. What Levi and Jackson's doing is they're going to help me start running my hoses. Levi's putting, and him and Jackson's putting goop on them uh, brass fittings so they don't have any leaks around them. And they're screwing them into the valves. Now, them valves we had sitting over in Bear Hollow left over from a project or something so i'm kind of using as much of the parts as i can off the shelf to keep using parts that we have readily available so we don't have to keep such an inventory and it's harder to catch us with our pants down if we get a breakdown or something like that i like to use familiar parts i really do i hate adding extra stuff i did add a oh no 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 i use a regular timer but this is incorporating, there's, there's five valves, uh, two, two ways and three three-way valves. And then you could tell the hoses that were put into the top manifold up there be exhaust to head out the muffler. And the hoses on the bottom manifold there is air coming in to charge the valves. <clears throat> on the left end, the, the bottom manifold, you see how it sticks out to the left there a ways. That'll have the intake hose welded on the bra uh, a uh, collar welded on the end of it there to where I can screw my hose in because I got to go through my air filter regulator set up and lubricator set up I'm gonna have an air tank feeding it so it's got some capacity to separate water if it gets any in it from you know extreme winter conditions and 
also have a small air supply so where if there's surges of air or whatever in the system they're contained in that tank you know that sort of thing and i had to go back over the mill well while i got my show off rick and ball helped me roger helped me my boys helped me everybody helped me get this valving and stuff together and it's not totally finished, but it's, it's finished enough to get to the next round. But, <clears throat> and this is all just, you know, on fixtures, so that way I can operate it in the shop. But the air is going to come in. Of course, it's going to be a one-inch line coming in. I just got it hooked into this line to fill the tank. Then it goes over here to the uh, line conditioner, filter, regulator, lubricator. And then it comes up here to the pressure manifold. And these lines will all be pressured or not now. Because that's what we're getting ready to do. And then all the exhaust goes to the exhaust manifold and out the cherry bomb. <laughs> so Rick and Paul. Rick and Paul. <laughs> so every time they flip it, they go, what a. <laughs> These are kids down here ready to tell Rick and Paul. I think they go, wing, ding, 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 ding. I don't know about him. So anyways, we're going to do this together. So we're going to let the air in, see if we got any eats. Well, start off right off the bat with an eat. I have no idea what's going on there. Hey, I'm a definite dummy. Here's what I... I pulled the spool out. Spools all in there, and I got to thinking, I just opened that thing. What the heck? It just dawned on me, hey, this is a three position valve, dummy. <laughs> or what the heck ever. And I don't have them, these two valves hooked up. That's why they're leaking. Them valves are hooked up to hoses. They're, uh, whatever. All right, so here we go. Next. All right, let's take her up. Give her about start out the hundred let's start out about 60 pounds now it's leaking I don't know what's leaking here oh that oh Yeah, I gotta block that one off too. Oh, it's my first day. There we go. Now what is going on up here? Well, I'll just leak because I don't have that thread and taped. Well, I better. No, there's daggone screws missing. Oh. See, I'm grabbing these parts out of the inventory and some of this stuff's been robbed out of. I'll be back with the screw for my oil adjuster. I uh, had to take it all apart, come in there and fix the adjuster screw. <laughs> Hopefully we got everything going now. That's from robbing Peter to pay Paul and stuff like this. Oh, that's loose. All right, well, let me tighten that up. I guess I didn't tighten that up yet. It's like five things I found that's messed up. The hole in it.
my gosh. Had to go help his had to go check on his dad this morning his dad's in a bad way so uh which is sad but uh it is what it is but i got a cover for him i'm gonna try to saw today we'll see how this goes what am i supposed to be doing hang on i forgot my dad dude <laughs> Suck it, Solomon. So we lube up all the stuff. We're sawing pine. Oh yeah. Who's uh <clears throat> basically what we're doing is we're we're sawing up all our, uh, we're sawing up some pallet wood. This is logs that are just gonna be made into pallet. Nothing but pallet. So we're gonna saw them today. 
and get up ahead to where the pallet room can still run while we're trying to put this mill in. Let's see. real good. I know Rogers and don't you trust me on that make loose Harwick parts out of you. <laughs> A good operator in here when you're doing your lubricating. Now, me and Roger knows what we're doing out there, but I'm not. This is the first time me doing it here. Oh, okay. All right, right stop. Oh, left. Now he does the pickers down there. Or sweep chains. I mean, rather. Morning, Bubba. Where it's up. Good. How you feeling? I, Better? I, worse? I still feel pretty bad, but I mean, I, I don't know. It like comes in waves. You know what I mean? I don't. So this is the day before we take this sawmill down for the big install of the scanner. We're sawing pine. We got a plenty of it set up on the hill. It's actually getting old and nasty. You can tell we're debarking the crap out of it to get the old off of it. Because it's been sitting in the yard too long. <clears throat> Pretty easy butter cutting stuff. Heavy to 16 footers and long and stuff like that. Now I'm not the best sawyer in the world. I'm really, really green. But I'm getting better quick. At this point, I'm so green that the advancements are made in a hurry. I'm still working on the 80% the part of the Pareto principle here. <laughs> as far as learning this machine. But I got, I recorded just a little bit of Rick and Ball running this afternoon. I come over and record him a little bit so you can see a little bit of a professional operator run this thing. and not. I just went ahead and speed mine up because I can't really stomach watching it with me running it mostly so let me skip over here and you can see uh, Rick and Ball running it now we open up with five quarter and then we switch off to thick stock the reason we open up with five quarters to get the wain off so you're not wasting wood with thick stock uh, with wainy thick stock so we're kind of saving our wood if you see what I mean Make a video about me struggling sawing and, and telling them, you know, it, that, that that's about as good as it gets. But here, here's Rick and Ball again. <laughs> you see, the buttons do what they're supposed to do for Rick and Ball. Of course, they all come in here and they're all like, well, you need to start trying this or you need to do this. It's like, dude, I'd just be happy the freaking button would do what I want. When I wanted to do A, I push A button and it'd do A, you know. We're, we're just into melee attacks and everything else. <laughs> I keep strafing. I keep strafing. <laughs> Poor old Alex down there. I'm about to kill him. Now, him and Hartwick's had to wrestle. I don't know how many chunks up off of the daggone edger deck. I tried to edge a few cans. They wouldn't take them. <laughs> They're getting ornery, that's what it is. They just don't edge cans like it used to. <laughs> Works. It's not done, but it's getting close. We're gonna test drive it? Yeah. <laughs> so I gotta put bigger cylinders on, the cylinders ain't big enough. Uh-oh. Yeah. And I go over here where 
that moving parts is, you okay. can work over there. All right. Whoop. Here's the air tank right there. And a bunch of hoses. Oh. Are you still there? Still there. Okay. Expectancy on the spring. I think they'll last a long time because they're not overstretched. I think they're they're full load, but I got plenty of extra springs or a piece of cake to change. Okay. Shouldn't be. And you said uh, I got to oil this mechanism here. Yeah. In the mornings, I got to come down through here and just oil it, just slobber oil all across it. Gears, springs, the slot. I told me it just needs to be like a fork truck mash. You just dump oil on it in the morning and goop it up. It's got to be like somebody work on it, they got to be complaining before they start working on it. That's how wet it needs to be <laughs> grease and oil. Oh, grease too. Yep. What do you think, Mommy? That's been a... All right, you come here and operate it. Oh, I get to operate it. Oh, just go easy on the pedal till you, learn, till you learn what you need to... Okay, how do we start it? Do we like full start it? How does no, it <laughs> set the choke. <laughs> All right, there you go. I just press it? Yep. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So it'll be out, so it's like I was talking about in the beginning, it'll be out of your way. When you don't want it, it's out of your way. Yeah. Okay. But the cylinders ain't quite strong enough because you see here. There's not a way to hold it up to position. Yeah, just okay. lean your foot on the pedal a little bit. Okay. Now it's ready to be used. You just gotta keep your foot there. Yeah, so when you're sitting there ready to grade, it'll be up. Would be good if it like that. Why would you want it? If your foot's laying there, see here's your, put your foot on there. My, my foot is so heavy though, I can't even tell what's that. So I'm like, oh. There it is. Okay. So okay. now you're waiting on a board. I'm ready, I'm waiting. Yeah. There, Sorry, that's flipping. Just a little bit, it's gonna go down. No, don't go down, I'm waiting. See that? You understand it now? Yeah. And then there's a board coming through that he already graded. You just drop it out of the way. Just drop it down. Hmm. So you want to catch a board, lay your foot on it, and you'll catch a board. I can't stay up like that. Okay, are you scared, Roxy? She's scared. Roxy, Roxy, does that scare you? Says that God's dang it, Mama, is making water whack it. It is a little loud. What? The sawmill over there is loud. That, this thing's quiet. All right, hang on. I'm gonna get some. Uh... 
Just operate a little bit. Really? Okay. Ready? Yep. Raise it up, just raise it. Okay. Flip it. That's cool. Now it won't be it won't be jumpy and bouncy like that. It won't be jumpy and bouncy like that when we actually use it. It is wild though. Well it's it's cause none of the none of the none of the rubber bumpers and stuff are hooked in. I gotta put it. Oh. When we mount it in over there, I got to mount rubber to, when this comes up, it'll sit on rubber pads. Okay. And that'll hold it. It won't do all this banging and flopping and bopping. It'll be tight. It'll be clamped tight against stuff. Okay. No, it'll operate all together different when we install it. Okay. And there's an echo in here. So. Yeah. Makes a worse. All right. Well, what do you think, Mommy? I give it two thumbs up. Two thumbs up? Well, okay. actually, one. You need to give the vidget two thumbs up. this side yet. That side's a thumb, thumb down? <laughs> yeah. No, 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 no. No, it's thumb down. No, it's bueno. Okay. Right, I love pins. you. Ray bought me some pins. He wants me to do more paperwork. Do more paperwork. Let's get her paperwork done. Hey, I want to thank you all for watching. Um, don't forget to ring the bell, hit the buttons, all that mess, and subscribe, and thumbs up and all that mess. If you made it this far in this video, I promise you I'll keep trying to entertain you pretty good and, and hopefully we can learn from each other. Um, I put this stuff out and I'm not trying to do it in a selfish way to where I'm just showing people stuff or taking advantage of them. I'm, I'm, I'm sharing my, my story here a little bit, sharing our company story and um, I'm doing it in hopes to get a little bit of a contact with you all and get a little bit of enlightening myself enlightening myself there's so many ways to do something in the hardwood industry here I, there's all kinds of companies that does all kinds of things all kinds of different ways and it's nice to be able to bounce ideas off each other the think tank sort of stuff so i hope y'all like this everybody have a good one and everybody works safe love y'all later on